the culture itself really entice me to apply because it's not my first time to apply. It was multiple times before I got a chance to be here and I'm very proud because I finally made it. You might be thinking that you cannot save more but you're in Cyberbacker. It is really possible. Definitely. I can assure you. With me today is one of our Cyberbackers I've got a lot of respect for. Because she cares a lot about the community, um, has really done a lot for the community, has got some very ambitious goals, enjoys helping other others, um, and I'm going to say what whatever came her way, she's been able to overcome with flying colors. So everyone, I want to go ahead and introduce Tiffany. Tiffany, for those who don't know us, don't know you, tell us about you. All right. Thank you for having me here, Craig and Miss Cami. Hi, everyone. My name is Tiffany Lastimosa, and I'm one of the head backers. That's awesome. And that just tells what your job is, but tell us about you. You've organized some cool things since you got here. Yes, that's cool right. Things. What are some of the cool things you've done since you showed up here at Cyberbacker that I might be talking about? Sure. Um, I was shocked at first because I reached out to you and then to Michila and Divina about the project that I'm actually starting since there's a pandemic and it was the facial for a cause. And then you as a person, as a CEO, you are very selfless to share your blessings to everyone. By the way, um, for, for everyone's note, we were able to help more than 6,000 families around the Philippines. Uh, it may be in the Metro Manila and also um, somewhere in, in the province of Visayas. So that was great. I'm proud of you. Thank you. That's a big community for you to have to go and do some help or to get help for. And I'm going to tell you, Tiffany, the first time you messaged me and you said, I'm selfless, I went ahead and I went, is she for real? <laughs> like, I'm seriously. And then I asked Sheila, I'm like, who's Tiffany? And she's like, oh, and Sheila, you know, uh, love her because she knows everybody and knows about everybody. Yes. And we talked about this whole idea of face masks and stuff like that. Yes. And we had a few different things of face masks. I'm going to tell you guys a secret, uh, you and everybody on Facebook. But at that time, we went ahead and there was two kinds of masks. There is the, the inexpensive cyber backer masks that they're throw away one or two time use. And you'll know you have one if it says cyber backer all over and it yes. has a QR code on it. You know those? You know what I'm talking about? And then we have the other state-of-the-art, deluxe, awesome masks that, like, are my personal favorites. They just say Cyberbacker in one spot, you know, and they're they're awesome. Tiffany, what kind did you get? Um, I think I got the most expensive one. You guys you donated the most expensive one. Yes. Guess who got right. the cheap throwaway ones? Mm. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, don't be. Don't be, don't be. Because we went ahead and we realized – wait a minute, we, we wanted to go ahead and get some really nice ones for our clients here and stuff like that. I went ahead and said, you know what? I think we didn't make a mistake. I think we made the right move. So I have here in the U.S. over a thousand face masks. We can order more, but they're kind of a one-time use throwaway and are awesome reusable ones that look good. They present good. And my goodness, I wish, in fact, I will get one at some point when the world goes back to normal. You know, we went ahead and I think we shipped them to the people that are going to get the best use out of them. And Tiffany, I appreciate you spearheading that. So thank you for that. Very much welcome. And thank you, Cyberback. <laughs> well, so uh, that's a heck of a story starting off. And that was when you were, how new were you at Cyberback when you decided you wanted to do that initiative? In no. Like a week, a week. I like just week. tried to reach out. So, <laughs> you know that sounds made up, right? Yeah, Your that's first right. week at a company, your first week, Tiffany, you reached out to the CEO. Yeah. Said, I have this idea. <laughs> and he said, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's send masks. Let's help a bunch of – that sounds made up, which means we did really good. <laughs> Because you know? I, I saw previously that you're doing some community help as well. Oh, yeah. So um, the one that referred me here said that, why don't you try to reach out to our CEO? He's very friendly and accommodating. And then yeah. I tried. I just tried. And then 
God really provides something really amazing. That's why we help a lot of families. I, I'm going to tell you what right now. Number one, um, I'm not doing the CEO thing right because oh, no yeah. other company would <laughs> let that happen. So let's just admit that I'm, you know, kind of weird at my job. I'm not going to say I'm good or bad. I'm just going to say I'm a lot different. And I'm going to go ahead and say for everyone out there watching, when, when you have a goal that you want to do something big like that, go for it. Because the worst thing could have happened, Tiffany, is that I said, no, that was the worst thing that could have happened, right? Mm-hmm. What's yeah. the best thing that could have happened? You put masks on people's faces. You provided yes. a lot. You yes. went for it. And I got to tell you that right there, I am truly proud of you. So great That's job. Great. All right. So let's get into the other stuff. And yes, we, we owe you um, just a big round of applause. We're, we're excited that you're here. So, okay. Questions. Sure. What everybody wants to know. Tiffany? Is this your first time working online? Yes, it is my first time. First time working online. Congratulations. What attracted you to working online? Well, given that it's pandemic, I wanted my family to be safe as well. Commuting, going to different places will definitely give you a higher chance to be infected by coronavirus. And the fact that the culture itself really entice me to apply, then I I always keep on trying because it's not my first time to apply. It was multiple times before I got a chance to be here. And I'm very proud because I finally made it. We're proud of you. There's a lot of people right now that are watching multiple times. And sometimes it's just the phase in life where you're at. Yes. We'll have more about that. So, okay. So you're here. So cyber backer, you come in, you're also now a head backer, correct? Yes. Was it worth all the interviews and everything you went through to get here? Definitely all worth it. <laughs> I love it. So now that you are here, what are some of the goals you've accomplished and what are some of the goals you're still working on? Sure. I don't really want it to share it to a lot of people, but a lot of us are watching right now. I shared it with you, but um, my the home that I am building for my family is about to finish. Thank you, Cyberbacker. Thank you, Cyber Anna. Thank you to my client as well. You did that. You did that. <laughs> Great job. Thank you, Craig. What else? Um, the future goal that I have in my mind is to pursue another career because I saw that I can manage my time working um, night shift. But technically, I really wanted to to learn more and to help more. So um, that's what I have in my mind. But my priority is really to provide more for my family, to make them happy because they provided a lot when I when I am studying. So and also the fact that giving giving something to the community is really what I always aim for. Absolutely. So to go ahead and tell you with that, there's a lot of places <laughs> you can actually invest in money more than your time yes. so you can sleep and still do a lot of good things out there. Just I agree, thought. definitely. So I'm going to say the big thing, if you want to help a lot of people, um, teach them skills, teach them how to be better, which is why I love about you doing what you do as a headbacker, you know? So if you want something else, we need a lot of people to go ahead and apply here and grow their profit share. Yes. Okay. So, and fantastic goals, by the way. Um, I know a lot of people watching right now, they're wondering, does it pay good? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yes. Yes. That's right. Um, you might be thinking that you cannot save more, but you're in cyber backer. It is really possible. Definitely. I can assure you. Oh, absolutely. And how does being here in Cyberbacker give you personal fulfillment? Um, aside from the fact that you are inspiring a lot of people, being a headbacker and also helping you to fulfill all your duties to your client as well. As long as I was able to satisfy them, that's self-fulfillment for me, to be honest. Just doing my, my job done very well, that's all. That's a tap at my back, to be honest. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, Cami, we've got Cyber Cami with us today. I know she's yes. always got great questions and great perspective. Cami, what great questions do you have for Tiffany today? Hi, Tiff. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet and, you. Um, 
you mentioned earlier that um, you have tried uh, multiple times to be yes. part of Cyberbacker, right? I know a lot of uh, our friends um, have experienced the same, and I kept mm. on um, sharing it with them that not all the Cyberbackers did it on the first try. Some of them failed the second, third, and got um, got hired on the fourth time. Now, uh, what encouraged you or what motivates you to to try it to keep on trying? Yeah, that's actually a great question, Miss Gami. Um, to, I always have this in my mind that you will never win when you quit. If you really wanted this, you have to go for it. No matter what, how many times you fail, you fall. As long as you really wanted to be part of this specific, like a company itself, you just mm-hmm. have to keep on trying. Your time will really come, but of course, you have to really assess yourself, step back, maybe understand as to why you keep on failing, and then give it a try again. There you go. So, to all of our friends who are watching right now who failed the first try, don't give up right away yes. because here Tiffany is the living proof that um, you just keep on trying and you will you'll get there where you want to be at <laughs> okay now going back to our questions um i got uh, two more questions for you sure. um when you uh when you started with cyberbacker what are the biggest challenges that you have experienced personally mm-hmm. and professionally personally of course we're working from home um we do have responsible neighbors who really don't think that it is possible to work from home um, during night shift. So the loud noises, the barking of some dogs, you know. <laughs> but um, with, with the help of Cyberbacker as well, and also some of the bonuses, incentive bonuses that I got, then I, I also win. I was able to buy some or upgrade the stuff that I'm using for work. It's an investment, to be honest. So it that is. was actually good, right? So, but professionally, I learned a lot. Um, with the help of our cyber ammo, with the help of the supportive HBs, to be honest, um, they they helped me to grow more professionally. How to deal with um, different rejections and also um, those agents that I have right now really help me to be motivated because it's not just only me that I am thinking every day, their lives as well and also their clients and my clients as well and their business as well. Such a big heart for everyone. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. And what is the the most memorable experience that you have with Cyberbacker? Recently, I won the hb new hb incentive which is i got 500 dollars, so that's amazing wow, right? congratulations <laughs> yes <laughs> okay and this is the last question because i don't want to make it too sure. long <laughs> what do you like most about our cyber ammo craig i said earlier that he's selfless but the main thing about our cy- cyber ammo is that uh, setting and modeling the values, the behavior, and culture of our company definitely he really embodies it. The relationship, growth, fun, wealth, all of them are actually there. And he sticks with the mission and vision of the company. We're in to provide world class service from anywhere in the world and anyone in the world, given a chance to, to all those Filipino or anywhere in the world to provide um, quality results for their clients as well. All the help that you need is really, you yeah, just have to, the, the go-to person, which is our cyber ammo. I know you will agree. <laughs> I totally agree with you. How about you, Craig? <laughs> Everyone watching on Facebook doesn't see me like going ahead. It's like, I'm going to grab a drink real quick and... I'm going to grab the scissors and and trim my eyebrows. <laughs> and a lot of times when you see me doing stuff like that, it's because I'm like, I can't tell if people are nervous, but I want to make sure that they're smiling big. And so sometimes when you're watching these interviews, I have to apologize because I might just be doing something crazy to help everybody remember to smile. Yes. Like we're having fun. So and Tiffany's got a great smile. She didn't need a lot of help. So Tiffany didn't get a lot of crazy. But anyway... If it gets boring, well, I have to make sure it doesn't. And I appreciate what you said about embodying the values. Part of it, Tiffany, I, I kind of just cheated because I went ahead and I looked at what makes people the best they can be. 
and who are the kind of people I want to be around with relationships. I want to be around people who want to have great relationships. I don't want to be around people who want to grow as a person and have fun and make money. And then we just made that our values, you know? So I kind of cheated with it, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't take it back. I don't want to apologize for it because I think as long as you, you create a company and you know what that company stands for and what it is, you can do that. Definitely. And eventually a company is just going to go ahead and take the leaders and the leadership and everybody within it. And it's going to expand their values. So might as well, they, they, they say that money will reveal you. And if you want to know who someone really is, put a lot of money in their hands and see, see what they do. Because if you're a giver, you're going to be more of a giver. And if you're a taker, you're just going to take more. Yes. And, and so anyway, but I appreciate that. So um, Tiffany, I can't even tell you how excited I am about you being part of our company. Thank you. When I say that, it's because you're someone that's just willing to go all in and, and go for more and help more and do more and do more in this world. So I'm very, very thankful for you. So if there's something you want to leave to the people out there who are watching this right now, what would you like to leave them with? If you really wanted to be part of an awesome company and if you feel that you're not ready, but you are really willing, go for it. Start with the willingness and do not ever give up when at first you did not succeed. Maybe God is just saying, oh, hold on, it's not your time. Your your time will really come. And then just wanted to let you know, guys, that it is really worth working here in Cyberbacker. And I'm really a person that will uh, be forever grateful because of Cyberbacker. I'm going to yeah, be forever sure. grateful for you. <laughs> no, I'm grateful to to meet you and to have a conversation with you. Anytime that I really want to do, you just keep on replying. And I'm, I'm a bit shy, to be honest, because a cyber ammo is really a cyber ammo. But you really made us felt that you're really just like on our level at the same time. I am. I am on your <laughs> level. I only pretend to be a grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. We appreciate you. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Greg. Thanks, Miss Gammy. Bye-bye.